Hello everyone, this is Valerie Merchant and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do another tag video for you all. Um, I think the first one was pretty good, so I decided to do a second one. And this time I'm going to show you uh, this tag right here. This one uh, I did uh, with, uh, I hope you can see it because uh, it's a lot of, it's kind of shiny. <laughs> I put in my butterfly here as actually it's not really a tag it's a it's a card I, I made but this one right here I use the butterfly the two butterflies how I did this I did it with um, some polymer clay and uh, and I, I baked it in the oven I pressed it in a mold a butterfly mold uh, let, let me go get that and show it to you because I always want you guys to see what it is that I work with. Okay, what it is, this is the clay that I work with. It's called Femo clay, Femo clay, and in black. And this is the mold that I use for the butterfly. And uh, let me see, do I have it here? Do I have it here? This one right here, it's a Martha Stewart. I'm sure you all know who Mar yeah, Martha Stewart molds and she uh, has I think she got like three molds to a package so I have this one here and I took the clay and I just uh, softened it up molded inside the uh, mold took it out and then you have to bake it in the oven and then uh, you paint it and you use it this one is the star and this one here are uh, leaves these are Martha Stewart molds and you can find other kinds as well if you want some really good ones then you probably have to go online to get them because uh, I don't see a whole lot of them in the stores but that's how I made my butterflies here and then I colored it with some um, perfect pearls and uh, I used the stencil for the score errors here and then I highlighted the uh, edges and this here is part of a, uh, a Tim Holt stamp and uh, this here is um, one of his sentiments, The Journey Awakens the Soul. And this is also a, uh, a mold. And I just colored the background and uh, put silver around the edges. And uh, I think that's a very beautiful tag. Okay, that's one that I did. Uh, okay. And my next tag... <laughs> Uh, uh <laughs> my next tag that was the phone call that's gonna have to wait I'll call them right back and this one here is um another tag I made it's called under wings of a prayer and this one here I cut a, a butter uh, not a butterfly a bird this is a magazine uh, of a bird I put them in a, a back of a uh, I put a uh, what do you call this a map piece in the background so you can see the map and uh, I colored the background with purple and lavender and I used the stencil for the round circles here and uh, modeling clay and uh, I used this here stamp right here this one here with the little lines in it right here this is um, let me see that's the stamp here uh, and that's that's the part I use. It's from Stampendous. Uh, I did Stampendous. It's from them, and it's a three-sided stamp block, and it gives you, you know, a picture of how they all look together. That's how I got this here, and then it has the sentiments on the wings of a prayer. I put that together on some paper using these here um, stamp blocks alphabet stamp blocks these little things here they've been used but that's the letter it is right there an A so that's what I used to stamp the words on there and then I put this little purple ribbon on it and uh, that's the way that stamp looked it was really fun these are very fun to me and this one here is my heart stamp and uh, I made this in the background with some Tim Holt um, a paper stash 
Tim Holt papers and I have this uh, this is washi tape here and here and that will be these two washi tapes right here this one here Whoop. this here washi tape in the background and uh, I used um, some um, right here I cut out some a book paper and a page from a book and then uh, I stamped my butterfly on it right here I used this stamp this is a uh, Inca Thinka Do I'm pronouncing that funny it's like a tongue twister Inca Thinka Do stamp and uh, yeah it's the butterfly and that's what I used here to stamp that down and my two hearts are from Tim Holtz and you guys know I'm a Tim Holtz fan and uh, he has what's called a um, movers and shapers die and this is it right here movers and shapers and the name of it is called you see I don't know can you see that it says mini heart set and uh, I'm getting a reflection here from my light okay it's two um, hearts and it's uh, two stamp two dies that come with it and when you run your die through your uh, die machine or in my case it's a um, it's a uh, what is my die machine called it's called a uh, <laughs> I can't even remember the name of my die machine it is a uh, hold up let me go look oh I'm sorry <laughs> it's a big kit <laughs> it's a big kit machine and I uh, run it through there and cut out and then I can color the uh, hearts and the word love makes life beautiful that's the name of the tag that's what I uh, the wording I use on it and I got that from Tim Holtz uh, yeah I'm Tim Holtz everything I love Tim Holtz and I'm sure I'm not the only one Tim Holtz ideology chit chat stickers chit chat stickers and uh, inside you get a lot of little words and stuff and you get them on in two different colors and you just pick out whatever word and stick it in uh, on whatever, whatever you're going to use on your paper on your tags or whatever you're going to use and so that is this one and last but not least for now I have this one here and this one said create and enjoy and I definitely enjoy making these stamps and of course this one here is the um, clock clockwork stencil I've showed you that one in a previous video uh, here let me show it to you again uh, let me see that's this one here this is stencil called clockwork by Tim Holt of course it's been used like I said before and uh, I've also let me see I've also used um, these here stamps by Tim Ho and that's the bird right there that you see right here that's the bird and then this here right here flower right here that is this one here and that, that's what I use and of course this is how I look on the back there are rubber stamps and of course it's been used but this is the package it comes in the name of it is called uh, nature's moments that's the name of the stamp set and you can get them online at uh, Tim Holtz or you can go to Simon Says Stamp or you can go to uh, scrapbook.com or um, maybe Amazon or other places you can go but and then this right here is the stamp another Tim Holtz stamp I don't have it with me right now the birds on the wire and then right here is the honeycomb stamp and I got that one from um, the honeycomb is from this one here is called uh, Heidi Swa and this is her honeycomb stamp and I usually I got this at Michael's I got two of them as a matter of fact because I thought I had lost one I couldn't find it so I went bought another one and guess what I found the one I lost so now I have two <laughs> but it's a, a Heidi Swap stamp and that's what I used here that's why you see the honeycomb shape and the uh, colors that I use are from Tim Holtz 
uh, Distress ink. And uh, let me see. I used um, Barn Door Red. I think that, yeah, Barn Door Red and Wild Honey. And uh, Mold Lawn. I think that's Mold Lawn. But uh, yeah, I put I put all this and that's and I had a letter stamp in the background too. Uh, I don't have that one with me right now, but it's a big stamp and uh, it has letter writing on it, and you just step it on your card. So that's where you get the writing in the background. So that's what that's my next uh, my tags for today. I'm gonna do some more videos, show you some more tags. And I'm also going to do a video on a, uh, on a journal page that I made. And I hope you all enjoy that one, too. And uh, thank you for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a very blessed day. And uh, please don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel, okay? My name is Sally Merchant. Welcome to my YouTube page. And bye-bye and have a blessed day. Okay, bye-bye.